multitask. Mm -hmm. We do it all the time. So how about doing it during your workout so you can work your mind and your body? And some students in our area are doing just that. Dr. Jay Adlersberg is here with more. Jay? Shade, Diana. Physical education is part of the school curriculum, but how much and what kind of phys ed largely depends on the school. We found one, one school, PS277, in the Mott Haven section of the Bronx, offering the children a unique kind of exercise. Miguel Gonzalez Wallace is not normally a school gym teacher. He's a personal trainer, but he comes in occasionally to lead these classes in special exercises that he devised. He developed them a few years ago when he noticed his private adult clients weren't paying attention. So in the moment that I added balance and coordination with each movement, it was like, wow, like clients were focused, they were mentally challenged. The program is all about it. Coordinating body movements with brain function, multitasking, something most people have to work at. None of the movements are automatic or ordinary, such as using closed eyes, for example. When you close your eyes, you see with your brain. You don't see with your eyes. That's not what neuroscientists say. So I start saying, you know what? Let's going to do exercises involving a lot of, like, concentration. It's work that helps the brain make new connections, according to Mr. Gonzalez. Gym teacher Eurydice Johnson, who now regularly teaches the workout, tracks the students in the gym and in the classroom. We have seen great progress, especially in the classroom. Dr. Gregory Lombardo, a psychiatrist, is familiar with and supports the program. There are studies that show that children who develop certain kinds of physical competence, balance among them, have improvements in their reading scores, improvements in their functioning academically, improvements in their ability to concentrate. The classes are obviously fun for the students who compete only with themselves. A plus, says the school principal. Our vision here is to make sure that all kids feel that, like they can succeed, and that's what this does. We know physical activity is one of the tools to fight childhood obesity. Adding the brain work might make it a tool which kids enjoy. A real plus. Last weekend, the school had a workshop for parents, teaching them some of the techniques they can easily do with their children at home. There's more of this technique on our website, 7online.com. Shut it. Right? Something good to test out. <laughs> That's right. right. Okay. Yeah.